same way we're going to come through here and resist. When I, as soon as I feel that resistance of her tissues, that's where I'm going to stop. Because I want her in a more neutral place. I learned to tape arches a thousand years ago, and we taped them just like this. We stretched everything out, and we flattened out the foot as much as we could, and didn't allow it to absorb impact. Here, I, that's where I want her. I mean, she's at foot flat, she's at neutral, that's where I want to keep her. Hold that position for me as best you can. We'd spray the foot so it would attach nicely. We're going to come right over here. And once again, you could use an anchor, but I like less tape on the foot and in the shoe. I pin it right here, take a little stretch out, come right up around the heel, and I'm going to come right back to number one. So we say this is one to one. I'm going to come right over here to number five, same way. Pin it here, take the stretch out, come around, come right back to number five. Five to five, exactly. Want it nice and smooth. <coughs> Why is it one to five? Because yeah, these are numbered. One, two, three, four, and five. And then here's two and four. I'm going to come right back over. Take the pin it, take the stretch out, and come right back over to number four. Again, this taping is utilized to help someone absorb force, to absorb impact. Maybe they're not used to the hard surface. Maybe their shoes are getting old, they don't have money to go out and buy them. You're just trying to get them through practice or competition. I'm going to come right up to here and I'm going to cover my tape ends. I want to stay out of the web spaces of the foot. This is really nice thin tape. I'm telling you, if you need tape, go see Jeff Nelson at Alert <laughs> Services. He's online. Jeff Nelson, Google Jeff Nelson Alert Services. He gives you the best deals going. Come right through here, and I'm just not pulling tight. I'm overlapping on the bottom if somebody's paying attention. Half a width of tape. I'm going to cover my tape ends. I come to the base of the calcaneus, and I finish. Now, with all of this type of stretch, tear, elastic tape, these ends will have a tendency to peel up. So if you'll take some non-elastic tape Can someone and you just take a little piece here that'll prevent it from peeling up I think we were doing the toe now and that's all you do. take a look at the foot you can see we just overlapped it all the way walk around on that and see how that feels this doesn't change any biomechanics at all this just helps walk around walk around the room a little bit and compare right to left. Describe what it feels like in your own words. It's more cushioning. Right. Yeah. I said 